Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving word problems on arithmetic series. And this is the third part. I will put the link of the first and second part in the description box below. Let's take this example right here. There are 25 rows of seats on a concert hall. 20 seats are in the first row. 23 seats are on the second row. 26 seats are on the third row and so on. How many seats are there in all? And assume that the pattern continues. So these problems would make um, sense. We're gonna write it out. So what are we gonna do is I'm gonna make 20, so based on the first statement, I'm going to make 25 uh, blanks. That stands for the number of rows. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that's the first blank. This is the second. That's the third. And then I'm just going to put three dots in between. And then this will be our 25th row. So I'm just going to label this as a sub one. That means it's the first row or the first term. And this one right here is a sub 25 or this is the 25th term. So let's put in the values. In the next statement here, it says that 20 seats are on the first row. So I can go ahead and say there's going to be 20 right here. That's our a sub one. And then on the second row, there's going to be 23. So that's 23 right here. And then on the third row, it says that it's 26 and so on. Now, the problem is we don't know what this one is. So in order that we can solve this kind of problem right here involving arithmetic series, we are going to follow some steps. The first step is to determine the number of terms n and the first term a1 and the last term a sub n. So in this problem right here, this this um, a sub 25 can also be uh, written as a sub n. So based on the first step, we are going to uh, write down the given right here. So s this is s sub 1, so that means it's the first step. So again, we're going to determine the number of terms n. So there are 25 rows, so our n would be 25. So I was making like 25 blanks here that represents the number of terms. So our n is 25. Our a sub 1 is, that's the first term, which represents the first row. That would be 20 um, seats, so I'm going to write 20 right there. Our a sub n, or the last term, term, which is corresponding to a um, sub 25, is actually missing. But we can actually solve for a sub n. Now we remember that the formula for a sub n is... Okay, now let's plug in values. Now we start with, again, we're looking for a sub n, which corresponds to a sub 25. So these two are just the same, the last term or the 25th term. That's the last term for this um, series right here. So then we go ahead and plug values in. So a 25 is equal to our a sub 1 is 20. So I'm going to write 20 right here, plus the difference. The difference means we are going to subtract the second term minus the first term. So the difference would be equal to 23 minus 20, and that is equal to 3. So then we go ahead and um, plug in 3 right here. So that's going to be, again, I, I got the uh, 3 right there by subtracting the second minus the first term. So that would be 3 times, again, our n was changed to 25. So this becomes 25 as well. And then that's minus 1. So we go ahead and do the math here. So the last term that we have here is um, 92. So if we write them all out, it will come out 92 um, right here. So let's try to write it all out over here. Let's see if that would actually be 92. So I'm just going to write everything all out, starting from 20 and then to the 25th term. Okay, so the last term or the 25th 
term is 92, which means that on the 25th row, there are 92 seats in that um, row. So then we go ahead and prove, uh, we already have proven that our A 25th or A sub N is 92. But in this problem, we're supposed to determine the total number of seats in this hall. So then we go ahead and move on to the second step. The second step is to plug the values into the formula to find for the sum. So I'm just gonna show the uh, work up here. So we're looking for Sn, which represents the sum. So this is the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series. Okay, so the sum is actually equal to n divided by 2 times the first term plus the last term. So in this problem right here, our n is 25. So we got that over here. So 25 over 2 times our a sub 1 is 20. That corresponds to the first term plus our a sub n, which is equal to a25, which is actually equal to 92. And then we have solved that over here. And we also have written that down here that it's the uh, 92. So I'm going to put in the 92 right here into the equation. So this would come out 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. And then times this is 112. So then we go ahead and multiply those two together so that this is 1,400 seats. So all in all, there are 1,400 seats total in this um, concert hall. Now, you can actually add this all out using a calculator. You can do that, but it's going to take you a long time. Suppose there were like 100 rows, so there's going to be a lot of numbers that you add on the calculator. This um, adding of numbers manually using the calculator would only work if there are only few terms involved. But if there's like thousands or hundreds of um, terms, then using the formula would be the fastest way to determine the total. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!